I got so fucking let down by, like, you have no idea. So, when I grew up, I really liked this one comic book character called, uh, The Phantom. I don't know if The Phantom is very popular with, with, uh, with, uh, you Americans, but, it, but in Sweden and Europe, it seems The Phantom is really popular. He's basically this, this man, it's kind of like a bootleg knockoff Batman. He's, he doesn't have any powers, he's just like a really strong, athletic, smart guy. Sort of like Batman, too, in fact. But, uh, the Phantom, he lives in a giant, like, skull cave. And, uh, he rides around on a horse. He's kind of badass. And, he here's the story about this. Now, you see, when, when little Joel was an impressionable little shit, once again, must have been six or seven years old, we had this weird corporate deal with the, the local milk-producing company. And, they somehow got a, got a deal with the makers of the Phantom to promote milk by using his image. Now, what my local grocery store was contracted to do, they were commissioned to do this, they got a hired actor. They got a hired actor to portray this comic book character in the, uh, the milk section of the grocery store, right? Now, the problem is that I was a fan of this stuff, right? I was a fan of this stuff. And I was just like, all right, my mom told me, Joel, the Phantom's gonna be at the grocery store today. Do you want to come and, like, say hi to him? I just went, yes, you know, and I just put on my little galoshes and my little, you know, Mario uniform and just, like, bolted out of the door because I knew this is it. This is, like, I can actually meet him. Like, this is no longer fiction. This is it. This is it. This is it, baby! It's the goddamn Phantom! So, I'm fucking shaking. My, my hands are like, fucking vibrating like some sort of like, Asian dildo, right? So I go into the store with my mom. I, 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 like, when I go into the store, I hold my mom's hand. Not this time, though. I'm fucking ecstatic. I'm jumping up and down. I'm moving fucking cartwheels across the entire goddamn grocery store. I run in, and what the fuck do I see? What the fuck do I see? It's a bald man with a t-shirt on that says the Phantom. Like the, the, the logo. The logo. The fucking logo. Not anything else. Not even the costume. Not even anything. It's just a man. It's a man in a t-shirt. That's like the equivalent of, of, of having Superman, but it's a man in jeans and like a blue t-shirt with a cape on. And I look at it and it doesn't strike me at first. I, I go, where's the Phantom? Where's the Phantom? You know, I look around, it's like, is he hiding behind the milk? Is he like behind the yogurt? Or is he like, I don't know, whatever. So I look around and it strikes me, wait, wait. That's him. That's him. That's him. They just got an intern to just put on a shirt that says the Phantom on it. I mean, they, they, they didn't, they didn't even try. They just, they just fucked. They just, just, no. I walked out there, <laughs> and I was actually crying. I was actually crying. I was so angry. I was so angry because this really meant a lot for me. Because here's the problem. Here's the problem. I'll show you exactly why this was the problem. <sighs> Hang on. In fact, I might even find how this looked back in the- here we go. Here, were, here was the phantom. Here's exactly how it looked. Here was the milk package. It was purple like this. Here was the phantom. Here's how it looked. And I remember they said... They fucking said... That this character... This goddamn character... Was gonna be at the grocery store. And what I got... You know what I got? 
You know what I fucking got instead? I got the color purple, yes. But the way they did it was kind of like, uh... You know what? You know, it was just a man in a purple shirt. M might as well be this. This is what I got. No, it was him. See? The color purple does not translate into a man. Like, you gotta put a little bit more effort into it. Just... I remember I actually went out there crying. I was so mad. So my mother actually gave me ice cream, which actually soothed my wounds. You know, it's, it's, it's like, kids are so impressionable. Like, that shit really stays with you. you. You wouldn't think that kids would give a shit about that, but they do. They really do. And on the flip side, while the corporate milk company might have not given a shit about little John Joel, uh, you know who gave a shit? My fucking kindergarten. My kindergarten gave such a shit that it fucked with my perception of the Santa Claus. In fact, it fucked with me so bad that it took me a long while to believe that, okay, Santa Claus is not real. So what my kindergarten did, and, you know, this story is maybe familiar, I might have told it before, but basically what they did, they did this whole thing where they fucked with our brains. They did this. They hired, like, like an actor. Or something like that. I can't remember. Like it was, I, I, I was so young. I can't remember right, correctly. But what they did, they got a whole sleigh with like reindeer, actual reindeers, outside the kindergarten. Like coming in from, we, we live near a forest. We saw Santa in in the forest, like in the desert. We're like, holy shit, it's fucking Santa! It's fucking Santa! And I'm just like, whoa, 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 hey, hey now. What are you talking about? Is that like real Santa? And then I see the reindeer. So I'm just like, whoa, dude. Holy shit. Holy fuck. And Santa comes. And. Great Santa. You know, years later, I gotta say, like, whoever played that character. Goddamn. They were into it. They were into it, man. And they went the extra mile. They went the extra fucking mile. You know what they did? They had this act or whatever. We had to say to Santa what we wanted for Christmas. You know what this fucking actor did? He later reported... He remembered all of our names. Said to the parents of what we wanted. Just to make sure it would chronologically be chronologically correct. That whatever we wished for this person, whoever was portraying it, would later report to our real parents what we wanted. And I got what I wanted. I don't remember what I wanted, but I think it was... God, what fucking was it? I think it was like... God, what was it? Uh, I think Lego or some shit, but whatever. Just, just the amount of dedication, and that fucked with me a lot. Because I was like, you know what? I don't care, man. Santa's real. And I, I, I remember, and, and when people started to be like, Joel, you're, you're a fucking moron, you know? I'm just like, well, how do you explain this then, numb nuts, you fucking egg? And, you know, I would defend this for so many goddamn years until people are like, Joel, you realize, you realize this was probably an actor and they just, just, they conned you because you were a little child, right? And, uh, you know, it was a little shocking, but you know what? They at least fucking tried. Unlike, you know, f the Phantom, the Phantom, you know, <coughs> <coughs> the Phantom. <coughs> Look at this guy. Look at Rick. Rick the Dick. I don't know. I got. I don't know why I got so sidetracked with this, but fuck. 